Hello everyone. Um, so today I'm gonna be filming an unboxing video. Um, now with this unboxing video, I'm very nervous. I'm nervous to unbox her because she ended up getting stuck in Arizona and took two days to get here and it's been very, very hot out. Um, they did use a cold pack so hopefully she will be okay. Um, I'm also worried that since she's in air conditioning and she has a cold pack, she's gonna get too cold. Um, so I'm really nervous, like shaking. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is until I do the unboxing. Um, so you gotta stay tuned and see what it is and who it's from. And this is my first ever unboxing video. Hopefully I'll be doing more unboxing videos because more animals. Um, so yeah, just, just keep in mind that she was stuck for two days. She came from Arizona. I'm in New Jersey, so long flight. And it's been really hot out, but then she was in air conditioning, and then she was in the heat, and then she was in air conditioning. So very nervous, and I'm hoping for the best. Uh, the lady at the post office at FedEx was very, very nice and told me good luck. I uh, really hope that she's okay and I was like, same. So, yeah. Um, enjoy the unboxing video. Alright, here we go. I'm really nervous because, like I said, I don't know if she's going to be alive. Sorry, if you can't see my face, I feel like that's not the important part. Like the important part is the box. Please don't make fun of me for my, my cutting skills. I know they're absolutely terrible, but I'm also shaking a lot. I haven't eaten breakfast. I am really, really, really nervous and kind of want to throw up. But I'm so scared that she's not going to be alive. <sighs> oh, little card. Sigma Serpents. Oh, it's like a little sticker. That's cute. Now, I always want to say, Sigma Serpents, amazing to work with. Oh my gosh, look at this. They literally sent, they literally sent a piece of paper, you probably can't even see that, but it says, like, all the food that she's eaten, basically, almost since she was hatched, since she was hatched really recently. Alright, there was a cold pack in here, um, but because it took two days, the cold pack is now a room temperature pack. Okay, okay, she's teeny tiny like I expected. It's packed really well. It's all nice and fluffy. She's very cold. I'm so scared. She's not moving much. Okay, I feel some movement. All right, all right, moment of truth, moment of truth. There's a little zip tie here. open. Packed really well. It's very hot out. That's why she had a cold pack and not a heat pack. <gasps> oh my goodness. I don't know what that is. <gasps> there she is. She's okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, she is so tiny. You can still see her little umbilical cord. Okay, I'm gonna like move you guys closer so you can actually see her so that's who it was it was a little ball python um, I know from from back here she probably just looks like a normal uh, but she's actually a cinnamon leopard possible orange dream het clown which is my I would say my animal with like the most genes right now and she's gonna make some amazing babies her eyes are like gray this is so cool there she is oh my god she's gorgeous look at her you know she's she's just a little cold that's it a little cold i am so happy she's okay i was so scared like i i'm not kidding i like almost threw up from being so nervous but there she is 
Oh my god, she's literally an angel. Look at her. He said she's super defensive, which is adorable to me because she's just so tiny. But she's an amazing eater. Um, she tried, here he, Sigma Serpents tried uh, Frozen Thawed before giving her to me, and she took it right away. And she's only a month old. Oh my god, she is so cute. Yep, there she is. That's what it was. Ball python. <laughs> She's going to be part of my future clown breeding projects when she gets bigger. So, in probably about three years, she's going to have babies of her own. Right? Oh, you're so cute. Alright, I'm not going to bother her too much more. I just really wanted to show you guys and take a good look at her make sure she was okay. Um, so, I'm going to be putting her in her little quarantine. And... Hopefully she will do good for me for the next week. She'll be nice and calm and warm. And then in a week I'll try to feed her and see if she takes it. Oh my god, I am so relieved. She is okay. Um, she's just a little cold. That's it. But she's okay. Um, she looks great. There's nothing on her. She looks perfect. She is everything I wanted. And I've decided to name her Cookie. And that's because, one, she looks like a chocolate chip cookie, but two, I name all of my ball pythons after desserts that start with C. So we have Cupquake, and no, it's not named, she's not named after the YouTuber, she's just named Cupquake because I thought it was cute. I live near somewhere called Cheesequake, and I always thought that was so funny sounding, and I was like, Cupquake. Um, and then I have Custard, and then I have Cream Puff, and Cake Pop. So now we have Cookie, and Cookie's going to be part of... A future project of a clown breeding project um, so I'm gonna be getting a mail for her eventually um, hopefully not too far in the future so that way they can I like buying I know most people like buying their ball pythons or their snakes older and proven breeders and stuff but I like the experience of getting them when they're young and then raising them and being the one that is able to take care of them and knows basically their whole background and their whole life. So all of my ball pythons were bought as hatchlings. Um, my first two were like two or three months old. My second two were about two months old and this is my youngest one. She is so tiny. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, she's currently in her little quarantine area and she's gonna be settling in for the next week or so and then I'm gonna attempt to feed her frozen thawed uh, rat, hopefully my shipment of rats gets here soon because I ordered it a while ago and it said it shipped and hasn't gotten here yet um, and it's hot out so hopefully it's not like stuck in limbo or something just like she was uh, I'm having bad luck with shipping packages um, but normally shipping animals is very safe uh, a lot of people talk about how like, oh, it's so unethical to ship animals, live animals, but I don't think they realize how animals get to pet stores, and basically how animals get anywhere is they are shipped. Um, they're shipped safely, they're packaged safely. Uh, the only error that I've ever really experienced was the error of the shipping facility themselves, but the people who ship out their reptiles, like, they spend a lot of money to make sure that they're shipped perfectly and I've never had a problem with a reptile they've always come perfectly safe and sound um yeah so that that's how that's how animals get shipped to pet stores and usually when animals are shipped to like the chain pet stores they're not shipped very nicely they're shipped in containers of just tons of them just shoved in there and when people ship to like like breeders ship to like a single person they're usually just a couple animals or one animal that's very secure with a heat pack or a cold pack and you know tons of writing on the box like keep it this way don't let it get below 70 degrees or above 70 degrees or all different information so yeah shipping animals isn't as awful as it sounds and even with this two day delay she was perfectly fine she was packaged very well and I'm so thankful for Sigma Serpents to have packed her that well and they gave me that nice sheet that gives me all our information some breeders don't do that I wish they all did because it's very helpful to have birth date, the parents, the different um, like uh, social medias of the person, and what they ate last. That's really important. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to leave a like. 
uh, subscribe and I will be posting a lot more in the future. Of course, there's going to be breeding in the future. I have two ball pythons that are just about breeding age and weight, so that's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you guys have any suggestions about things you want to see or things you want me to talk about more or a certain animal you want to see more. Um, yeah. <laughs>